So 29 uh, escaping molecule, the most energetic ones and uh, the temperature will decrease. So now we'll discuss structure questions. <clears throat> and mainly related to yeah, see was the answer for 29. That was correct. Structure questions. In terms of molecule, why it is possible to compress gases, but not liquids? So why it is easy to compress gases? Because in gases, the molecules are far or empty spaces are there between the molecules and they're not touching each other. So that's why it is easy to compress. So molecules are far away from each other. So space available. That is why gases are compressible. You have two containers. In the next part, two containers made up of insulating material. Insulating material means material which does not conduct heat. Have same volume of water at room temperature. The containers do not have lid. There is no covering or a cap or a lid. The volume of liquid in each container gradually decreases. After a certain time, the temperature of a water has decreased to below room temperature. Explain in terms of molecules why the temperature has decreased. So what is the reason why the temperature has decreased? Because the most energetic molecule will escape. So the molecules left behind will have lower energy. That's why the temperature of the liquid will come below the room temperature. Then in the next part, they're asking one of the container is wide and shallow and the other container is narrow and deep. Means one of the container is wider and shallow like this. This is wider and shallow. And the other container is narrow and deep. And both are filled with a liquid. Predict which container has a greater rate of cooling and explain your answer. So which container will have a greater rate of cooling? So wider and shallow will have a greater rate of cooling because large surface area. So your answer, the point, you'll mention uh, water in a wider container or molecule with a large surface area container, more molecule are exposed to surrounding. So higher chance of evaporation or greater rate of evaporation. So higher chance for the molecules to skip. Now 
what happen if a temperature of a gas is increased So if we increase the temperature of the gas, what will happen? Uh, th this is the speed of the part temperature of a gas. So speed of the particle increase. But this part related to gas, we will discuss tomorrow because today we are only discussing evaporation and boiling, bo Brownian motion, and about the solid, liquid, and gas. The hot plate is switched on. when the temperature of a water is below 100 some of the water evaporate here the picture is missing apart from a temperature at which it occur state how boiling differ from evaporation so you can do that as well we discuss already the difference between boiling and evaporation okay a footballer and a referee are discussing a puddle of water means a small amount of water is there on the field that's a puddle of water so referee and uh, footballer are discussing that on the pitch a football field the footballer wears a white shirt while the referee wears the black shirt apart from color the weather is bright and sunny state and explain how temperature of a white shirt differ from black shirt which like a player is wearing a white shirt where referee is have wearing a black shirt how the temperature of the white shirt differ from black shirt which one show a higher temperature the temperature of a white shirt is lower than a black shirt what is the reason a temperature of a black shirt will be higher than a white shirt because black colors are good absorber of heat energy yeah black absorb more energy than that's why the temperature will be higher the volume of the water in the puddle this water is there on the field that's a puddle it's slowly decreasing describe how two changes in the weather condition could affect the rate of puddle dry means how it affects the rate of evaporation what are the two reaction uh, weather conditions which can affect this evaporation temperature that's one wind speed another humidity is also there because higher humidity means lower rate of evaporation so change one maybe if it is uh, more wind then faster evaporation if it is humid then slower evaporation you can mention that you can mention temperature as well wind speed if wind is blowing higher wind speed faster evaporation and the second one if it is humid humidity is also like weather is humid moisture is there then what is how it affect already there are a lot of water vapors so it will be slower evaporation <coughs> a 
explain in terms of water molecule what happened as a puddle dries means you have to explain this process of evaporation so most energetic water molecules escape and leave behind less energetic particles so more energetic molecules or most energetic molecule leave behind less energetic molecules is it clear so we discuss evaporation boiling brownian motion and the states of the matter which is about solid liquid and gas there are a lot of questions this file i will share with you as a weekly homework but remaining we will discuss uh, one question related to brownian motion and then we'll end this session a microscope that produce a very high magnification means magnification means you can see the object too big is used to observe a brownian motion of a smoke particle in air there is a smoke particle and light is there and we are observing on a figure draw a possible path for the smoke particle so we have to show a brownian motion it should be random but don't draw like this is if you draw like this you will lose mark because for a short distance it should be a straight line so draw a straight line random anywhere you can draw but straight line for a short distance describe how air molecules cause the smoke particle to observe like why they are moving randomly the arrows are representing the movement or the direction of the movement draw the arrow as well so it will be clear so describe how air molecules cause smoke particle to follow this path so air molecules collide with smoke particle and cause the random motion or the change in momentum so these are some questions related to this evaporation boiling brownian motion and states of the matter tomorrow we'll discuss the gas loss and discuss question related to gas loss as well any question related to the class today Okay so I'll end the session share the recording with you